Hello everyone and welcome to the Trade Ideas Live Trading Room Recap for Tuesday, November the 17th. My name is Barry Anderson, moderator of your trading room. Any questions you may have for me, you can use this email address. This is a link for the free room. It is 100% free. You do not have to be a member of Trade Ideas to be in our free trading room. Room is open Mondays to, Thursday, Mondays to Fridays uh, between 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. Eastern Time. I share my screen and I'm live on the mic. In the email you're getting, you will still see a link for the test drive. So you, you know, if you sign up today at some point, uh, you'll get the balance of today, if you, depending when you get this email, and then you'll get three days. So you will not get two full weeks. So if you think it's worth $8.99 to have three days, then uh, go for it. If not, I do understand. And also you'll see a link to my homepage. My homepage has a lot of information on it, uh, how to get the trades of the week, um, all my videos, of course, and uh, what else? We have educational videos and a uh, link to all of the scans that I'm sharing, including my new favorite scan that I'm going to show you in just a bit. So, let me just, you know, it's funny. Um, you know, I've got a default chart that I, that I always load, you know, when I'm going to uh, load a new chart. And for whatever reason, way back when, a GBTC was, was a symbol. So every time, this is what I'm talking about, when I, when I load a new chart, if I load a new chart, you're not going to see it maybe, maybe on another window, yeah. So this automatically pops up, GBTC, then of course I can change it. But look at GBTC. So if you're unfamiliar with this, this is, I will call this the crypto uh, ETF, okay? Even though it's a pink sheet stock, you know, I talk about this all the time, the fact that it is a, a pink sheet stock, but it has tons and tons of volume, uh, the spreads are good, and all, and of course, crypto has just been, uh, has gone crazy. If you look at this one, what in this change? Just a second, please. Properties, symbol linking. GBTC, there we go. So look at the month, look at the monthly chart on this one. This is right up here. I believe Bitcoin is probably around around that 20,000 mark again. Uh, I don't have a, a, you know, it's, it's approaching it anyway. But uh, so consequently, these little stocks like, you know, and I almost hate showing them, but you know, Mara, which is a, which is a blockchain, Riot, now they just absolutely exploded today. I mean, look at Riot and look at Mara, just absolutely exploded today. So, I mean, you know, it's funny how things can get really cyclical. Though I would say that, of course, uh, you know, crypto has been been alive most of the year, but there's certainly a lot, a lot of action with, with with the crypto plays. We actually do have a crypto channel. Okay, if you click on the toolbar, click on New, and then Channel Bar. And then right there, blockchain crypto. Okay, so we do have a crypto channel, so you can follow all of the all of the uh, um, stocks that are involved with either blockchain or crypto. Now, um, I, I did say that I wanted to show you this, um, and I, you know, I, I don't often say this, but I mean, I, I would recommend that when you go to my website, uh, my homepage. That in, and click on the scans that I share, that you take a look at this one, okay? And I want to go into this one just a little more detail. It's called Gap Continuation or Reverse Shared, okay? It means it's like I'm sharing it with people. And it's a multi-strategy window. And with it, that means that there are several alert windows within the multi-strategy window. Now, typically people use a multi-strategy window because they maybe they don't have a lot of screen space. So they want to take all the alert windows that they've got and put them into a multi-strategy window. I've done it here. I don't have a problem with screen space, but what I like to do sometimes is I like to group similar strategies together into a multi-strategy window. So let's just see what I've got in here. So strategy, so I've got gap up and go, all right? So gap up and go, that means the stock gapped up and it kept going higher. Gap down and reverse. That means the stock gapped down and then it reversed. It started going up. Gap up and reverse, you know, obvious now, it means the stock gapped up and then it started reversing down. And then the gap down and go is just like it sounds. It gapped down and it kept going down. So two like so, so there's opportunities in here, you know, to, to look at trending, excuse me, trending stocks, a gap up and go, gap uh, gap down and go, and reversal plays. And I'm just finding, 
you know, I'm almost just concentrating on this one window. So, you know, it found, it found things for me early on the day, like an AX, AXTI, which I did take, AXTI, I took this one. And the only problem, the, the only unfortunate thing is that it did this, but I got in right around here at 920 and sold most at around 959. And the only reason I sold uh, is because it was, well, actually I sold some at 959 and then down here, I thought it might've been over and then look what it did. You know, had it not done this, if it just kind of held there, I'd still be in this trade. And just before I started this video, I took Urban and Urban, you know, another one that was a gap up and, and go. I thought, in fact, no, I'm sorry, this was a gap, probably a gap down and reverse. You see how it gapped down and then it reversed. And one of the reasons why, first of all, you have to kind of keep an eye on the spy, all right? You're going to play reversal plays. A lot of these stocks are going to kind of track a little bit what the SPY is doing, so or the overall market's doing. So you can see that reversal plays, you know, this is a gap down in the SPY. The SPY is still down for the day. All right? It is still down for the day, but it's been recovering most of the day. So that usually what that means is that a lot of stocks will, will kind of follow. So as long as you're getting this sort of pattern, you know, these sort of actions can happen. And so, you know, I got into the urban at uh, what 1814 and I've sold some out right up here around the 1840 mark. I'm going to kind of hold some to see if it wants to keep going. And but, you know, you, you don't want I mean, the reversal plays won't work very well unless you have the market. At least when I say on your side, you don't want to see it doing this, you know, and try to play a reversal play, you know, mo like uh, s several down red candles and you're trying to play a reversal. Probably, I mean, it may work a little bit, but you're not going to get, you know, that much out of it. When the market's doing this, yes, or even if it flattens out a little bit. I mean, it doesn't have to, it doesn't have to be racing higher. You just don't want to be trading completely against the market. You know, especially if it's a stock like an urban, which really doesn't have any specific news for it today. It's on an earnings play. It doesn't have a news catalyst. So it's going to kind of track what the market is doing. So um, again, uh, in, in the email you're getting, you will see a link to my homepage. And within that link, you'll see where I'm sharing all my scans. So, you know, I would have a look at it. You know, I mean, just take a look at it and see what you think. All right. I want to go back into the trading room and see what I can get from that scan later on today. So if you have any questions for me, you can use this email address. This is a link for the free room. I will open the room tomorrow at 9 o'clock Eastern. I hope to see you then. Bye-bye.